privacy and cybersecurity experts have warned for many years about risks associated with all smart and wireless technology, cell phones, medical devices and implants, personal and smart home appliances, light bulbs, and wearables, utility smart meters, electric, gas, and water, and everything that uses Internet of Things technology. Last month, researchers from Carnegie Mellon University proposed product warning labels that would make it easier for consumers to understand all of this. Of course, manufacturers may not be in a hurry to use them because their smart products allow them to collect data on consumers to analyze and sell to third parties. This is referred to as surveillance capitalism. ActivistPost.com reported last year about smart TVs spying on owners. Here's another creepy article about that from Simeus.ai. 4 Ways Your Smart TV Is Watching You Today we are going to be talking about 4 Ways Your Smart TV Is Watching You. Smart TVs have helped change the way we consume media. For some, it gives better content options than what is available locally. For others, it is a cheaper high-quality alternative to regular TV, especially this year, due to the Rona CV-19, cord cutting rates are at record highs. It is expected that the number of cord cutters will reach almost 50% in the next five years. Although, there are some oddities with the way smart TVs and their market operates. For example, have you ever wondered why smart TVs are so cheap? In fact, some smart TVs are cheaper than their dumb counterparts. Are these companies so nice that they will charge you so little for their amazing tech? However, with all the good things smart TVs bring, there are some sinister bads, and we are going to be exploring those bads thoroughly in this video. Let's get started. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. If you are going to steal data and breach people's privacy, at least do it securely. It's like these companies think that they can take data from their users, but no one is going to try and take the same data from them. This data is valuable, if you are taking the time to steal it, then someone else is planning to do the same thing. Especially when they find out the communication channels used are not secured at all. You would expect smart TVs to know what shows you were watching and how long you watched them for. There is some plausible deniability there, maybe they just want to know, so they can recommend better content to you. But why do they need to know my address? Why do they need to track my address as I move? Not only are they tracking where the TV is at all times, they are also sending this information over insecure channels, as was shown in the last point. Which means, there are hackers with big smiles on their faces, and why? Because those hackers don't even need to spend their time and energy hacking into your house, they can simply tap into the insecure communication channel broadcasting your location. You were always told, it's a bad habit to talk while watching a movie. We would recommend you expand that, to not talking, while watching anything on your smart TV, because someone is listening. We were told voice controls would make using our smart TV more convenient, but at what cost? Here is the problem with wake words, voice commands used to turn on your TV while it is idle. Your TV has to listen to everything you say to filter out the non-commands, and we mean everything. To add to the previous point, a lot of the time, the local device is not powerful enough to parse your voice, so that data is sent to the manufacturer's server for extra processing. That means, there is a very high chance, that the things you have said near your TV, are somewhere in the cloud. Why does a TV need a camera? Seriously, why does a TV need a camera? When I started researching and making this video, I used the word watch, as a kind of metaphor. It was meant to mean, people can't see all the telemetry and statistics coming from your TV. In effect watching you. I never in my wildest dreams, thought these manufacturers would be so brazen, as to install a camera on the TV. 
So, in addition to listening to you, they can watch you as you enjoy your favorite shows. Today we talked about 4 ways your smart TV is watching you. However, these are not the only 4 ways, I focused on the ones that were easiest to understand for my viewers. You should always be alert when dealing with a device that connects to the internet, especially when it is a smart device, and not a traditional computer. How can you fix it? Well, it gets weird, have you ever wondered, why smart TVs are dirt cheap? In fact, some smart TVs are cheaper than their dumb counterparts. Could manufacturing innovation be so rapid, that the new versions of something are better and cheaper? No, the reasons these devices are so cheap is, because the companies, that sell you the TVs, also sell you. And we mean sell you, all your viewing data is actually used to subsidize the price of the smart TVs, and companies make large amounts of money from your viewing data. You might say, hmm, I'll just disconnect my TV from the internet, and I'll be safe, but that is a half measure. It has been found, that some smart TVs connect to the internet all on their own, even when you tell them not to. Besides, a lot of these TVs feature do not track options, but, enabling those options, strangely does not reduce the amount of data points being sent back to the manufacturer. It is almost like they expect you to focus on what's on the screen, and not what is going on inside the screen. If you want to protect your home and your privacy, you should visit these links. I do a lot of research into how people's privacy is breached, and the ways to fix those privacy breaches. Thanks for your time. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video.